I have here an LED test box and I really like it. You put your LEDs in, push the button, see if they work, what color they are, what kind of intensity you get at different current ranges. These are, uh, you know, I don't know, two, three dollars on AliExpress and eBay, maybe four. I think I paid about two or three bucks for this one. And for the price, uh, you know, I cannot complain. It's a great item. It's pretty much on my workbench all the time now. However, there are some uh, issues to be aware of. One is that these current ranges are you know, a pretty rough estimate. They're, they're kind of based on, seem to be based on uh, LEDs with a forward voltage of about two volts, like this red LED. If you use, you know, an LED with a higher forward voltage, say a white LED, you're going to have less current than is shown. <clears throat> the other thing, though, is that some of these markings are, they're not even close. Uh, the resistor values that were chosen just don't make sense for the way it's marked. And that's, you know, it's just uh, probably just something you're going to have to expect with an item at this price. It, you know, it doesn't really take away from it. I still like it. And, um, you know, I've taken the time to check all the resistor values and, and drop a schematic, so I kind of know what to expect. The one thing that is an issue, though, is over here, it's marked, it can check bicolor LEDs, either common cathode or common anode. And the common cathode side works fine. If I just test it with a single color LED, you can see that lights up. And if reverse it over here, it lights up. And same with this side of the common uh, anode test. No problem. However, get this guy out of the way. For whatever reason, there is no resistor on this side here. It's just the way they designed it, and it's the way the circuit board is designed, so there's really no way to fix it. So it's going to get the full 9 volts. So if I do that, and there's the magic smoke. That LED is dead now. So if you were testing a bicolor LED, you would end up killing uh, you know, one side of it by doing that. So you definitely do not want to use this to test a common anode by color LED. Um, but, you know, other than that, though, you know, I still like this thing. It's still a good tester for the price if you're careful with it and know what you're getting. So I got a link below to my blog. I've got a schematic I drew of the circuit and uh, my notes on, you know, what is not correct on here and what you need to watch for. And I think I'm actually, I haven't done it yet, but I think I'm actually going to uh, make some changes to the circuit and see if I can um, fix a couple things. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, share them below. Thanks for watching.